you guys? It's Adonis. So I wanted to talk to you guys today about the number one resource that you need to have throughout your entire PA journey. And we're talking from pre-PA student to fully vetted veteran PAC. So if you are interested in hearing what that is and hearing a little bit more about it, this video is for you. Let's get into the video right now. What's up you guys, it's Adana, welcome back to my channel. So I'm excited, I'm back from APA, got a lot of like fresh new stuff, lots of swag, more hand sanitizer, um, and some t-shirts. It's always a great time at APA, but APA also marks kind of like the start of, you know, something brand new. Start of the summer session where most people are like either gearing up to get into PA school, gearing up for their clinical year, um, thinking about applying to PA school for those pre-PA students um, and then some of you are thinking about recertification or certification for the first time with that being said I wanted to talk to you guys about this resource that I've already kind of mentioned before on some of my other videos but I just wanted to give you guys a little bit more information on this particular resource and at the same time introduce those of you to the resource if you don't know anything about it because they are doing like big things you guys they're just like rolling when it comes to the pa career in terms of education and testing and i really appreciate that because i'm a pa right um and i was a pa student i was a pre-pa student and when i was a pre-pa student like this didn't exist right uh it started out when i was a pa student and it has only gotten better and that resource is rosh review and so if you've never heard about rosh review you are in luck because this video is for you i'm going to be talking about rosh review but I do want to talk to you guys about something really, really big news um, with respect to Rosh Review. So they are starting a new part of their their program, I guess you could say, and it is all about review courses. And I'm going to get into more in-depth information about this next week, Tuesday, June 6th. So if you are thinking about like trying to like pass your boards, be it research or for the first time, definitely, definitely, definitely come back, watch my video on Tuesday on Rosh Review's new Pants and Pantry review course because it's amazing and I think it's only gonna be a benefit to you guys um, and I would only offer this up to you guys or like give you information on it if I believe in it and so I really want you guys to just pay attention to that because there are some really cool and unique things that makes this review course like top-notch okay <laughs> so don't forget June 6th come back and you'll hear about Rosh Review and this video is sponsored by Rosh Reviews but I am not being biased at all so I just wanted to put that out there okay you guys all right so um, as I've stated before Rosh Review I attribute to like getting me my C right I attribute it to helping me pass my boards um, and as I said it there were aspects of Rosh Review that you guys have access to now that I did not have access to before. So if you are a pre-PA student, a PA student, or an actual PAC, Rosh Review has something for all of you. They're, they are like over out here giving out QBanks to all of you. You get a QBank, you get a QBank, you get a QBank. Everybody gets QBanks because that is really kind of the 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 nature of learning these days it's online things that are like right at your hand at your fingertips so you can go and you scroll through you can do your questions on the go and that is one thing that i really appreciate about rosh review is their app okay and so i'm going to be showing the app let me like just kind of which side i'm going to scoot over a little bit for you guys right so that i can put the app here here on the screen so that you're able to exactly see what I am talking about. I, I wanted to talk to you guys about pricing. They have pricing anywhere from like $39 to $479, depending on what you're getting. And so you just have to go to the website, which is roshreview.com. I'll put it up right here so that you can look and see what works for you. Let's get into the the actual QBanks just so that you can get an introduction to Ross Review and what it's all about. So I have access to the the Rosh Review app, okay? So I downloaded it. I haven't used it in forever because you know what? Like I'm, <laughs> I, I don't need to study for the boards anytime soon. So that's why my overall percentage is back to 0%. 
but um, I love this look so I had an Android before and I have this I don't know if there's like dark mode on Android but like my phone in general is in dark mode and I don't know if this is like the new look of rash review but you guys this is amazing I love everything dark you know my husband's dark <laughs> But I love everything dark and so um, I love this dark mode. It's not like pretty jarring to the eye or anything. So I'm on the home screen as I have it here. Um, there are exams. I have like boost, I had boost exams that I had um, taken and you can, there are exams that you can take uh, by yourself like you can buy you know 100 questions or 200 questions how many ever questions for these boost exams and just test yourself on it um Rosh review is a, a course that i used when i was studying for my boards and it's also something that i actually promote when it comes to my own study plan for anybody that is trying to like retake their board exams because they failed the first time or the second time um, and they want to absolutely pass the third time. So in school, in this assign section, the student, the teachers would assign us courses um, or assign us tests, um, and it would come up in this assign section. And so that's what that was there. And then self studies and exams that you have created for yourself. Okay. So let me go to exams. Oh, let me go to create exam. So I can create an exam in tutor or test mode. I always talk to you guys about this. I always say that when you're like initially just getting used to taking questions and seeing how questions are asked, go to tutor mode. Test mode is for when you are really trying to simulate like the board exam. So you go in a quiet place, you put on test mode, you don't get bothered for like three hours because that's how long the boards are. And you can work your way up to that um, and you just, you know, take your test based on that. There are 3,802 questions. That is amazing. This QBank is huge, okay? So this is for like pants review, pan re-review. Um, if you're trying to sit those boards, uh, I would have to look in to see exactly what it is for some of the other exams, but this one is for that. Um, obviously, you would go to unused. You want to try to use up all of the unused questions first before you start, you know, going to questions that you've already done. It has the option for you to choose whether or not you want to make a test out of the questions that you've gotten incorrect um, or the questions that you've gotten flagged. And so you can click on those options as well. Okay. And then categories. So you can go in and you can just kind of sit here and figure out, okay, well, do I want to study musculoskeletal? Do I want to study reproductive, endocrine? Like what sections do I want to study, right? Peds. Um, so I guess maybe reproductive is now like the women's health, maybe like male, um, female, um, you know, like just health aspect of things because really and truly like one of the main sections that you go through in PA school is women's health. I don't necessarily see it here, but I guess like that would be under the reproductive system. So let me unselect all. Um, I don't know if your girl still has it. I mean, yes, I'm practicing in women's health, you guys, but I've noticed that what I learned in PA school isn't exactly how we do it in the real world. Um, it definitely gives us a foundation um, and it helps us figure out <laughs> these different, like what should I order diagnostic wise or, you know, like what, what particular disease process am I dealing with? But the medication obviously has changed and sometimes even the management is changed. So uh, we'll go here. All right, so I'll choose um, that. Oh yeah, so yeah, uterine diseases, ovarian diseases, cervical disorders, blah, blah, blah. All right, cool. So I'll go back to categories. I'll go back to create exam. Did I, ch let me see if I did this correct. Um, Let's just say test and number of questions. I'm gonna just do three questions, you guys, cause this, you know, this is like, <laughs> I don't wanna embarrass myself, all right? Um, let's begin it now. So I have it in tutor mode, I'm beginning it now. Uh, it talks about a 28 year old woman at 31 weeks gestation comes in to the emergency department after noticing a gush of clear fluid from her vagina. Oh no! Which of the following features is most suggestive of pre-labor rupture of membranes. Okay. Um, 
vaginal epithelial cells with a stippled appearance on the microscope evalu microscopic evaluation, presence of bloody vaginal secretions, fluid revealing pseudo hyphae. So pseudo hyphae, that's like, is that is that the like spaghetti and meatball? Or is that the ferning? Do you see this? Do you see how these tests? And I don't know if the stippled appearance. Um, let's just go with that. But it might be pseudo. Oh, it's it's neither, you guys. <laughs> Vaginal oh, pH of six. So only so 16% chose what I chose. 68%. And this is one thing that I do love about Rash Review. Look at me getting excited, you guys. So I love the fact that it shows you your peer comparison. So it shows you if you're like running with the pack or against the pack or, or where you're at. Um, when you go down, it gives you like the the actual see you see that ferning the fern test the stippling is bacterial vaginosis and pseudohyphae is spaghetti and meatballs yeast all right so go with the ph all right so let's go on to the next and you can flag it down here at the bottom so i can go back i can flag that just for the future so that i know like oh i need to go ahead and do something oh gosh which of the following medications has been associated with intellectual disability let's go with valpro as it because it's bad y'all <laughs> do not use valproic acid in uh pregnancy it is not a good thing okay all right next a 32 year old woman presents with an increase in vaginal secretions you decide to perform a potassium hydroxy wet prep which of the following secretions qualities does the test evaluate a wet prep? Hmm. I don't know if it really evaluates pH. Let's go with viscosity. Color, odor. It doesn't really do odor. Let's do Oh, it does do odor. A wet prep does odor. So see, oh, I, I didn't I didn't even know that. And I probably knew that like five years ago, don't know it now. But again, it shows you your peer comparison. So this is like, and I love these pictures. You can like go ahead, flag these, put them off to the side so that you can just go back and go look at the pictures because it tells you those, the information that you need on the pictures as well as in the explanation itself. So those are things that you should definitely keep in mind when studying. Oh, and this is this is another thing that I really love about Rosh Review is the one step further. So. You can say, what is another initial test done in any patient with increased vaginal discharge? And when you hit the the answer, it's just microscopic examination of the secret. Oh, so that's what I was thinking about. That's not odor, it's just microscopic. You're looking at underneath the microscope to see if you see those like spaghetti and meatballs or whatever the case may be, but a wet prep is odor. And I'll remember that from now on because I got it wrong here on YouTube, right? So that's just, that is just that. But these are the things that you can like kind of just, I would say, like and stuff too. I can grade my exam, grade the exam and see I got 33% because I literally only got one right out of the three. So you can review it, you can retake it. And then it gives you like a cumulative, like, oh, what are your odds of passing these boards, which is really good. Here in the settings section, so I'm in the pants QBank. Remember I was talking to you about all of the different options that you have with Rosh Review. So if you are in didactic year, you can go to the didactic QBank, okay? If you want the high yield power pack for the pants, you can click that. And then these are all like the various different rotation Q banks. When you're doing, you know, like you're studying for your EORs or things like that, these are your general, like actual, like, core rotations and so you can choose based on those cue banks all right so there is a there's something here for each and every one of you really and truly you guys rosh review is amazing <laughs> i cannot say enough good things about a rosh review and the program that they have like just rolling out they are doing big things again i wish you guys join me okay join me next week for 
a just comprehensive overview of what you're going to be getting from the review course. You're definitely going to want to come back June 6th to hear about this review course that Rosh Review is offering. Okay, so that is Rosh Review in a nutshell in terms of just kind of the simple like big oversight of, of what they have to offer. Okay, so Go to RoshReview.com right now, check them out, make sure that you're able to kind of choose what works best for you. I'll be talking more about Rosh Review throughout the summer and throughout the year just to kind of keep you guys up to date and abreast of all of the happenings to help you not only get into but through PA school and you could also do that on Get That C University. So don't forget to check me out on GetThatCUniversity.com. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys have any other questions, leave them in the comment section below. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram at Anonymous PA and on Instagram at Get That C University. And follow Rosh Review on Instagram at Rosh Review as well. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will talk to you guys next time.